Well, apparently Apple Corporation is in cahoots with the moderator mentality. I have an article below where this Iranian woman was denied uh, access to Apple products. She had, she was willing to pay for an iPad for one of her friends back home. Maybe not friends, maybe family. I don't know. I, I skimmed through the article. But essentially, uh, this woman, who's Iranian, uh, went to buy an Apple product and was denied service. And when asked why, obviously you would be outraged at such an event. Uh, it's because Apple has this policy. Don't you? They just love that word, don't they? I don't think it means what they seem to think it means. Whether it be forums, uh, video game companies, Apple company, whatever. Policy is no excuse for racism. Policy is no excuse for terrorism, for bullying, for corruption, for fraud, and all the other things that the internet commonly does. Anyway, so it's their policy to not sell Apple products to um, blacklisted co uh, countries, such as Iran, North Korea. Basically, Apple wants to have this neoconservative stance where any country that we haven't invaded yet is on the list of things you don't sell to. So, uh, this Iranian woman got outraged, naturally, and brought it to upper level management of Apple's attention. And more or less, they just said, yeah, that's true. The guy at the Apple store that refused to do service wasn't just being a dick and making that up. Uh, that is Apple's actual stance. So, Apple is committing a very federal offense here called segregation. It's called bigotry. It is called hate crime. Is Apple going to get under scrutiny for committing a hate crime? W would it be alright if Apple said that black people could not buy an Apple product? Would it be okay if they said that um, religious, any other religious person could? Because this really isn't even about Muslims. This is about their national origins. But if they were to say that Muslims could not buy uh, Apple products, would you not be outraged? Would you not be outraged if atheists or, or Christians or Wiccans or whatever could not buy Apple products? The very fact is, this multi-billion dollar company thinks that they're better than the people of Iran and North Korea who are just normal people figuring, hey, I'm going to buy an iPad for my aunt or my cousin or whatever, and they can't do that. That, that's what that's why I am so vehemently opposed to moderators. Everyone else thinks it's about me just being butt hurt because I get banned at some stupid ass forum. No, no, that's not what this is about. It, the, the fact is, most of those forums are shit. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, they just spew the most dumbass puke that I could ever imagine. They're just a big circle jerk. I'm not mad about the forums in and of themselves. I'm mad that there is no law against this. I am mad that we as a society think it's okay to discriminate against people on such a magnitude that we will deny them complete service, we will deny them uh, accessibility, we will deny them their basic human rights because, oh, it's their policy. Well, what if it's my policy to just take your money? What if I just wait till you come out uh, to go to your car and just punched you and took your wallet? Would that be okay if it was policy? No! That would be a crime. That's called mugging. That's called robbery. So if robbery and mugging is not okay just because it's policy, then discrimination, hate crime, uh, you know, harassment, belittling, that should not be okay either under policy. So what's the law going to do about it? Is the law going to represent this Iranian woman and give her justice? Because I doubt sincerely she'll ever want to buy an Apple product again. And it's not like denying Iran and North Korea Apple products makes you look good, Apple. Because all that all you're saying is is that you're getting involved 
and something that is an international politics thing. You are a fucking corporation. It's not your goddamn job to get involved in international affairs. You make a product, you make a good product, and you try to expand your business and, you know, get everyone to be an apple lover. That's all you have to do. It's not your fucking place in life to say that Iran and North Korea are bad people and, and they are not deserving of your glorious Apple product, which, by the way, is far more tyrannical by its nature than Iran and North Korea ever could be. Because you know what? As much as everyone loves to think that Iran and North Korea are these dictatorships, Iran and North Korea don't watch every facet of your life. They don't record everywhere you browse, everywhere you go, everything you say. They don't dictate what apps you can download, and if you try to use third-party material, it'll shut down your fucking uh, iPod or whatever. So, in essence, Apple is far more tyrannical than North Korea or Iran ever could be with their backward uh, early 19th century guns and threats type of tyranny. And they're I think that's what this is about. This is about the new generation of tyranny saying that guys like North Korea and Iran have outlived their usefulness. The fact is, out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old sense of tyranny with goose steps and military uniforms and in with the new of the matrix system and everyone's plugged up and zombified and fucking stupid and just welcomes their tyranny. The fact is, if North Korea and Iran were so bad, I bet the people could lead a revolution. Because of the very fact that they're not docile, fat, retarded, just conditioned animals like the Western society is. The fact is, if North Korea and Iran were so bad, uh, they have the intelligence and the will to revolt. But places like America and England and shit don't. It's not because uh, we're so free, it's because people are lazy and stupid. And they're lazy and stupid because corporations and government are sleeping in bed together and making them that way, precisely because they know that's the best way to control people. Control does not necessarily mean, you know, hitting, pistol whipping them with the back of your gun. That's one method of control, but it's not necessarily the most efficient way of control. I mean, look at moderators. That's that's what I'm talking about here. The fact is, moderators have never laid a hand on me. But they have done more against my civil liberties than someone pointing a gun at me ever could. If someone pointed a gun at me, there's a 50-50 chance I would be the one to end up hurting him. Because I could push the gun away and punch him in the throat. I could grab the gun from him and shoot him. I could tackle him down and at least stop him from shooting me. There are possibilities for me. There are no possibilities for me on the internet. The only possibility is if I can manage to take it to court and drag this shit out and make them regret ever banning me. But in the immediate, what they do is they press a button and I'm gone. Everything I ever written, gone. All my hard work, gone. All my relationships that I formed with these wonderful fans of mine, gone. My, my relationships, my work, my, my will, my emotions, my experiences mean absolutely nothing. How is Iran and North Korea going to compete with that? How could any dictatorship compete with that? So whether or not Iran and North Korea are even half as bad as Western propaganda makes them out to be, as everyone just presumes they are, they still would not hold a candle to the tyranny of basic corporate America. Apple is well above what Iran and North Korea are capable of. Even if they're as authoritarian, dictatorial, and menacing as they're made out to be. But, in all reality, they aren't. Iran and North Korea are just normal places to live. They got the rich and poor areas just like everywhere else. And you know what? They're not communism. North Korea is not a communist state. It is an ultra-nationalist state. At best, it's a Stalinist state. And I do not consider Stalinism communism, nor do I even consider it the intent toward communism. I consider it just a non-racist, non-religious form of nationalism. Is that better than capitalism? Yeah, but 
that's not saying much. So that's the essence of Iran and North Korea over here and Apple and all the internet over there. The fact is they are just the lesser of two evils by a, a margin, a great margin. And I don't even know where, to, where else to go with this video. I wasn't prepared to make this. I saw it on the article and I just had to jump right on it because I know Malice Rebel News is probably going to talk about it tomorrow and I want first dibs. So leave a comment in the comments section and maybe I'll talk more about it tomorrow. See you later.